What do you get when you take three Falcon 9 boosters and strap them together? Well, a Falcon Heavy, of course, the second most powerful rocket SpaceX doesn't get to launch it often, but when they do, all the world wants to see it. Remember, we waited 40 months to have a Falcon Heavy launch in November? Well, happily, we won't have to wait that long for the next monster launch as SpaceX is ready to launch Falcon Heavy to orbit this month. Let's find out about it in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Falcon Heavy, first publicly announced in 2011, had been a dream for so long of space fans. SpaceX and Elon Musk have poured a lot of sweat and tears into it. It's as tall as a 20-story building, consisting of three cylindrical rocket boosters strapped side by side and a total of 27 engines. Firing together, these engines burn liquid oxygen and highly refined kerosene to provide more than 2,500 tons of force, lifting the vehicle and its cargo off the ground and into space. The rocket is in appearance and design akin to three of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket boosters strapped together. This was indeed the basic inspiration for the rocket, but the concept turned to be harder than the company's engineers had initially anticipated. This thing is a lot more complicated, as Elon also admitted, it's just not screwing two more vehicles onto the Falcon 9 and going from there, veteran aerospace engineer James French had shared. So all the loads change, um, aerodynamics totally change, uh, you've tripled the vibration and acoustics. Um, the amount of load you're putting through that center core is, mm -hmm. is, is crazy, because um, you've got two super powerful boosters also shoving that center core, and it's like, so we had to redesign the, the whole center core airframe uh, it's not like the Falcon 9 because it's going to take so much load. Um, then you've got the separation systems. Right, right. Um, and uh, yeah, it just ended up being really way, way more difficult than we originally thought. Uh, we were pretty naive about that. The company abandoned complicated techniques like cycling fuel between the three core boosters during flight for increased efficiency. But the rocket is still a big innovation for one key reason. It will attempt to recover those three booster cores by flying two back to landing pads at Cape Canaveral and the third onto an autonomous ship. While the company has recovered numerous single booster rockets using this technique, flying back three at once will be an impressive accomplishment. That's assuming, of course, the rocket makes it far enough into the mission to worry about recovery. Put really big things in orbit or take smaller things to a very high energy stage which makes them able to reach the outer planets, French says. Falcon Heavy is able to carry more than 63 metric tons to low Earth orbit, a few hundred miles above the planet, or more than 16 metric tons to Mars. The 27 engines on the first stage of Falcon Heavy working together are capable of over 5 million pounds of force, 22,819 kilonewtons, and that's a lot of thrust at liftoff. The same force is about 18 747 aircrafts at full power. Yeah, you did not hear me wrong. Falcon Heavy is as powerful as 18 747 aircrafts at full power. Just looking at that many aircraft, well, that just makes me crazy. While being so powerful, Falcon Heavy has only launched four times in the past three years, but that's looking to change now as SpaceX begins launching missions for Space Force under its National Security Launch contract. Two weeks after SpaceX's first Falcon Heavy launch in three and a half years, the U.S. Space Force says the rocket's on track to launch again early next year. Immediately before and after Falcon Heavy's first operational launch for the U.S. Space Force, the Space System Command confirmed the massive SpaceX rocket's next military launch, dubbed USSF-67, was scheduled no earlier than January 2023. Two weeks later, U.S. Space Force tone hasn't changed and the Space System Command remains confident Falcon Heavy's on track to launch USSF-67 in less than three months after USSF-44. The iconic sonic booms will once again be heard over the Space Coast as this mission will feature that crowd-pleasing double booster landing at LZ-1 and 2. And Falcon 9 boosters 1064 and 1065 are being reused for this mission, first flying on the USSF-44 Falcon Heavy launch. Assuming the lack of a schedule change is intentional rather than a matter of not checking with SpaceX or other U.S. stakeholders, no change is a good sign. Since the last time the SSC reported that USSF-67 was on track to launch in January 2023, SpaceX successfully launched its fourth Falcon Heavy rocket. USSF-44 was the company's first launch directly into geosynchronous orbit. That's 36,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. 
SpaceX successfully recovered both of Falcon Heavy's side cores and has likely had enough time to thoroughly inspect each booster and begin the refurbishment process. If data gathered from the launch, landing, or recovered boosters uncovered issues with Falcon Heavy's performance during USS F-44, USS F-67 would almost certainly be delayed. The chances of a delay are magnified by the fact that USS F-67 can't launch until two of USS F-44's Falcon Heavy boosters are refurbished and declared ready for a second flight. But it appears that even a gap of 40 months between Falcon Heavy launches wasn't enough to make SpaceX falter, at least after working out some pre-launch kinks. SpaceX accomplished a similar feat launching two Falcon Heavy rockets in less than three months with one pair of side boosters. On the rocket's second and third launches in April and June of 2019, the mission that reused Flight 2's side boosters was used for the U.S. Air Force, so SpaceX and the military already have direct experience tackling those challenges. In the three and a half years since SpaceX has gained a huge amount of experience recovering and refurbishing Falcon 9 Block 5 boosters and slashed its record turnaround from 74 days to 21 days, SpaceX should thus have no issue turning Falcon Heavy side boosters B-1064 and B-1065 around for a second launch in January 2023. That's about 60 to 90 after their debut. While preparing one Falcon Heavy rocket to launch USS F-67 in January, SpaceX, at least according to customer Viasat, may also be preparing another Falcon Heavy rocket to launch the first Viasat-3 satellite the same month. Unlike the U.S. Space Force, which recently shipped one of the USS F-67 payloads to Florida, Viasat has yet to ship its first next-generation satellite to the launch site and says that milestone is scheduled for December 2022. That makes a February or March launch much more likely, but Viasat recently told shareholders that Viasat 3 remains on track to launch in the earliest part of Q1 2023. Combined, USSF-67 and Viasat-3 are scheduled to reuse Falcon Heavy side boosters B-1064, B-1065, B-1052, and B-1053. Each will use a brand new center core, B-1068 for Viasat-3 and B-1079 for USSF-67. That's according to Next Spaceflight. Like USSF-44, which was the first time SpaceX intentionally expended a Falcon Heavy booster, both new center cores are expected to be expended. For several reasons, assembling and preparing Falcon Heavy for launch is significantly more time-consuming than Falcon 9, so there'll likely be at least a two, three, or four-week gap between Falcon Heavy's next two launches. But as long as USS F-67 and Viasat-3 are ready to fly during narrow windows in early and late January, it appears SpaceX could launch two Falcon Heavy rockets in one calendar month. SpaceX has as many as five Falcon Heavy launches scheduled in 2023, and that's a stark change after more than three years without a single flight. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section. Your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.